What's up, YouTube? I'm DJ Philly, and welcome to Master Crafters. Today, we are here on the MC101 server yet again, and holy cow, has it changed a ton. So, yeah, we are finally on 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs Part 1 update, and it looks like people have been on. We have actually been playing a lot recently. We've got most of our members back online. They've been active recently. And we've actually done a ton of things to spawn into our other areas. So let's go check out what we've been doing here on the MC101 server. First up, you might have noticed we've actually installed a ton of trees. Thanks to Fried Squid, she has put a ton of trees all around spawn and it actually looks very beautiful now. We've also gotten some of the pathways installed. And if you look at this, I really do like this view, except for the cake ladder and everything, but yeah, we might have to move that later. But anyway, I do really love this view. We've actually installed some sea lanterns on some lampposts and everything. We've even got some flowers and the edge of the road and everything as well. And my, oh my, does it look awesome. You may have also noticed, but Bob has actually been experimenting with the new moss blocks, the azalea bushes and everything. And over there, we actually do have a dripstone farm. Now, either this takes a very long time or this isn't working <laughs> because I don't think we've gotten any dripstone spikes from uh, here because uh, I don't know if they're generating or not. But if we take a peek at the rest of the town, we got some more trees and we have actually finished the entire road system as well. All we need to do now is outline it with some stone, andesite, gravel, all of that good stuff. And of course, my shulker boxes are just laying around town, so I got to pick those up sometime. But yeah, these paths are looking mighty fine. Of course, we do need to maybe put in some lanterns and everything, some uh, lampposts and whatnot. And it looks like we got a goat friend as well. Hello, goat. <laughs> If we take a peek at Neon Rainbow's Tower, she has actually added an addition all the way up here. And it looks like she has put a roof on here, some sort of dome. And I think it looks absolutely awesome because if you look down underneath, you can see all of the colors of the rainbow. And it actually looks really cool. So I do really like this tower. So of course, guys, like I said, the server has been updated to 1.17, so we actually had a ton of fun with our friends here on the server gathering all of the new blocks. Yeah, I found another axolotl. You want this? Ooh, I don't yeah, really sure. Want. Is it cyan? Oh. There you go. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, there it goes. I don't want nice. the yellow ones. Now I got two. I will I take all of them. I literally just want the pink ones. <sighs> oh, I have a pink. That's all I want. I have a brown. I, I will steal it from you if need be. Ooh. But I'm gonna try and find my own before my battery dies. Oh goodness me. Actually, before I, don't I get have 10 percent because I don't have protection. Anyway, here, just follow okay, me. Okay, I'm just going to go walk home. It's this Wait. way. Yeah, yeah. So it's this Wait way. For me. Yeah, just just follow me. Like, look where I'm going. You see? It's just this way. That's all you have to do. Just, to zero, zero. just follow me. Here, I'll wait for you. Oh, yeah. Are you zooming away? That, that was a joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was, that you was guys could take a boat. This way. This way. What? Actually, no. Oh, yeah, here, have this boat. Horses. If you want to get boat. your horses, it's this way. Hey, yeah, you can make a space suit. Oh my gosh, wait, that wait, is wait, awesome. How are people doing this? What is happening? Yeah, if you, you get uh, uh, mob heads. A, a mob head, here, here's one. And then you have to put <laughs> it on in your inventory. Like in your head space. Hey, that one back suit. So which one looks like I'm Oh my gosh. This <laughs> is this so wrong. Look okay. at me. Oh, oh no, no. Wait, whose axolotl head is this? <laughs> it's Yo, mine. Okay. <laughs> what? Hang on. <laughs> I'm I'm robbing Bob. Give me a moment. I oh, am. Okay. This is so villager cool. Philly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the heck? Yeah, where, this looks so cool. <laughs> 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 what do you mean, where can you find the beacon? It's inside my base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obvious, too. What the heck, dude? Yo, it just looks sus. like I'm a weirder. I'm a weirder specimen yeah. when I put on the beacon. <laughs> Wait, my mouth is covered. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. It's like normal. You, you You're without. Oh my word. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. I have a I have a filter now. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like I said, many of our members have been online and experimenting with the 1.17 features and everything. 
And if we fly down here, you can see all the roads have been installed as well. But I do want to show you one other area of the spawn. Now, we've actually been working hard to get some axolotls. And this little area built by Fried Squid is our axolotl sanctuary. So if we walk in here, we actually have a ton of axolotls that are just swimming around. And it looks like some of them have despawned. Wow. Okay, then. We had like 20 axolotls. I think there's some weird glitch with despawning in 1.17 because uh, even if they're name tagged, they're still despawning randomly. But yeah, we got Master Squid here. We got a couple others, Nino, Sam, and Guppy. And I'm not exactly sure where the other axolotls. Yeah, that, that isn't good. We're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> If we take a look out back, it looks like Will What has been updating his house and Bob has been doing something down here in his hole. We can actually go check it out here. So he's installed some glass as well. We got a beacon underneath and it looks like he's starting to work on the entire area. I must say, I really like this new area that he's building. And I think he has something over in this. Yeah, just a bunch of maps with random things on them. And I've fallen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Also, if you remember a while back, we used to have a sign glitch where you could actually break any block in the game just with signs. Of course, that has been fixed now, but that is actually how we got rid of some of this bedrock. We were planning on getting rid of a bunch of other bedrock as well, but then the update came and the glitch has gotten fixed. So uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to the rest of the bedrock. Also, if you take a look, I have been working on our nether portal area. If we fly all the way out here, you can see that we have a bunch of nether portals installed. Of course, we still need to get all of the walls built and everything. Of course, all the walls are actually ripped out and everything, but we still do need to install all of the blackstone behind the nether portals. We need to get this wall all done because this will be our entryway to the nether portal. And then, of course, we need to get rid of this nether portal right here now that we have the ginormous ones. And, of course, we might need a roof. <laughs> so a lot to do on this area, but this is not where we're going to actually work for this episode. We might actually work on a few different areas areas as well for this episode but we still have a lot to show you because there has been a ton of stuff changed here on the mc101 server so we are actually going to go over to bob's house and show you his little area because he has been working hard on his basement and if we just stroll down here of course I might have shown this off before in a previous episode, but we do have a few areas here that we can trade with our villagers. We got these villagers, these villagers, and it looks like he's actually put more of these guys. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of farmers and everything. And then we got some of these villagers right here. We got a few blacksmiths and then, of course, the map room as well. So it is looking absolutely spectacular. But also the reason I wanted to come over here is for the mob heads. So if you didn't know this, Foxy Noto has updated his pack to experimental mode. We actually got all the experimental modes on the server, and it allows us to do this with all of the mob heads. It is absolutely awesome. You can actually wear them in character and everything. It also works with the mini blocks as well, and it looks kind of hilarious. <laughs> It also works with player heads, but the only player I currently have is my head, so yeah. It kind of looks weird when you take it off and on and everything. <laughs> but a big shout out to Foxy Notel for making all of the experimental packs. And we also have the combo packs that he has made. So it actually includes the player heads, the one player sleep, and a bunch of other features, and a death counter. So this is absolutely awesome. It includes all of them in one pack. So we can actually have an official one player sleep pack that works on the server. So it is mighty fine. And we can actually test it out right now because it is nighttime. So if we go sleep in this bed, of course, it says good morning. And it actually is quicker than normal sleeping but i think it still works and it is a mighty fine pack now if we look up oh oh no i'm sorry bob <laughs> now you may have noticed something different about the christmas tree yep the uh, glass roof is actually getting torn down and everything and this is because the addition of lightning rods i've actually installed one on my house 
but we are going to install some on the Christmas tree and so that we can get rid of all of the annoying glass on top because if you remembered at previous episodes this thing had been hit by lightning three times and oh my goodness I was snapped by a skeleton as well but yeah, the uh, the Christmas tree was on fire for a couple times, so that is why we put the giant glass roof. But now we can get rid of it because we have the lightning rods in 1.17 now, which is absolutely amazing. I have a few more things to show you around spawn. Now, if you remember, this is Tall Lego Boxes area, and this used to be a ginormous hole. But me and Bob had fixed it up and everything, and we built a house with a picture that is shown on the screen right now. But uh, Lego didn't like it, and so he tore it down, and he built a new house. He's actually flexing with all of the uh, beacons he's bought from Bob's store. But if we just check around inside here, he's got all of the Deep Slate ores and everything that he's found. And he's flexing more with Deep Slate diamonds as well, so... <laughs> I do really like this house. I love the textures of the ores and everything. So a mighty fine house built by a tall Lego box. And yeah, he does love flexing a little bit with his beacons as a lamp. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. If you remember this old building, this used to be our concrete facility where we would actually duplicate gravity blocks, but it has since been torn down in the inside and Sheepmaster randomly put a Batman symbol on it. And we are starting to make it into a museum. So Bob is the head of construction here. And he is actually installing an, an interior and everything. So we actually do have a home beacon. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. We got the server's first diamond. Happy holidays from fried squid. The first axolotl we got on the server. And the first totem. And then we also do have some other things coming along. We got our chunk of a meteor from the town hall you may have remembered a while back we actually had a meteor of ancient debris crash into the town hall and so apparently bob had actually taken some of the meteorite and put it in the museum and then we got tnt used by the bomber <laughs> tall lego box he knows what he's done he's bombed around the server so yeah fortunately he stopped right now but um and then we also do have his wiring that he used to nuke the town hall and then of course the last little area is the remembrance of when the wither was set loose on the town and this is actually the beacon that we got from the wither so yeah uh <laughs> mighty fine history all right here in the museum and i think bob is also going to go upwards with it and add some more things i also noticed he installed a one year anniversary of the server but we are actually on our 11th month right now. The first anniversary is going to be in July. And I can't believe we've been playing on the same world for almost one year. It is absolutely insane. And we're going to be continue playing it for quite some time. So I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to do some other things. I got some things planned for our Mushroom Island everything. So yeah. Now, if you remember Sheepmaster's base, this was actually flooded to the top with water. Bob did a prank on Sheepmaster, and so I have actually taken the time to actually get all of the water off of his base. And if we go inside of the base right here, I've also given him some rockets. I actually slammed into a wall right there. <laughs> but it appears he's already taken them. I gave him a shulker box worth of rockets because um, I kind of took some of his so <laughs> yeah hopefully he enjoys those rockets that we got from our new mob farm now a few more additions that we've actually added is one of the areas is our shopping district our poor little thing that only has a couple shops but it's actually quite beautiful right now we got rid of rage monkey's tnt shop because uh yeah it wasn't going anywhere but we also do have the armor stand pack by foxy no tail so this guy right here shows us the time of ticks that i have been online so far and this is shows us the days in game i cannot believe we've already been twelve thousand days it is absolutely insane but uh, we actually do have to check our sheep farm here and our sheep shop for any diamonds that we have gotten. And I don't believe wool is very popular on the server right now. So I'll check these really quickly for diamonds. 
Well, it looks like I forgot to actually stock some of the uh, chests right here. But, um, yeah, we have no diamonds. <laughs> Unfortunate. And it also looks like we have a villager friend as well. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. Yeah, I don't know how he got up here. I, I, I think it might have been Bob. <laughs> and if you look over here, Bob has actually put a new shop selling the 1.17 blocks here. And we do have some of the new smooth basalt, the new whatever this is called, amethyst block, and the calcite. We also got the new small amethyst and a bunch of ores and other things. And I totally forgot, but amethyst actually gives off a sound when you walk on them. So it is really cool. I might actually go to the store sometime and buy some of the amethyst shards and stuff to decorate one of our areas at home. And if we fly back over to spawn, I have been working a bit on the army base. I haven't done much yet, but we got some of the platform installed. Of course, we still need to get this area installed with grass and everything. But we got all of this area beautiful up and everything. We need to put in some other grass and flowers on the field. And we probably need to put a wall all the way around the new army base that we have gotten. And it looks like we got some of these guys as well. Hello, Mr. Goat. <laughs> but yeah, we will still continue our progress on the army base here because I do want to get it finished sometime soon. We got a bunch of other projects to finish as well. And I've also torn out one of the bridges here. I probably will make a new bridge and we probably need to tear out this guy right here as well. I do want to go with a new design. And of course, that is where our villager breeder is stored and everything. And this is where our villagers are actually stored. But I think we will still need to work on this as we will need some more villagers in the future. Now, if we travel over to our slime farm, I've actually been working a ton over here. We have installed some red glass right here and a humongous tower that we are still constructing. And if you take a look, it actually goes all the way down to, I believe, Y level 5, all the way down to the bottom of the slime farm. So if we actually go into the slime farm, I've also done some additions to this and tried to fix this up as well. And now that we fly into the slime farm right here, we have actually swapped the snow golems with iron golems. I actually found a bunch of iron in my house here. And if we take a look all the way down at the bottom of the slime farm here without uh, taking damage right here, that would be pretty awful. So now that we've come all the way down to the lower level here, I've actually slabbed the entire lower level. And this is where slimes will not spawn because we do have a problem here. We do need to actually move the magma blocks up one block because there is bedrock. So there is no room for us to make a collection system. And the slime balls have been sitting here continuously despawning and everything. So we do need to get this fixed probably on a live stream right here. Of course, we do actually need to work on the other parts of the slime farm, including some of the tower and everything and if you remember from last episode i did plan on making a tower and as you can see it goes all the way down but this is where we're going to put our other farms here that we may think of who knows what we'll put in this tower but yeah i may even want to build it all the way up to build height who knows but we'll see in the future where this tower goes but this is going to be the headquarters of kaznia our mega empire that we are trying to build here but who knows <laughs> what the future has in store for our little empire but this is about it of what we've been working on the slime farm and i think the collection system is the last part of what we need and the slime farm should be all operational so we'll probably work on this in a future episode just get that finished and everything but i do want to go back over to our house and show you one more thing before we go over to our island and it looks like we have a new x-ray glitch where am i <laughs> and we are finally here at our little house and you may have noticed one addition that i said earlier the lightning rod but this new project that i've actually started and finished took me six hours to build so if we go into our house we actually have a basement now 
And this is our new storage system. So we got everything from heads to mycelium and more mycelium and sand as well. So I have been sorting like crazy. This took me a few hours to build and everything and get everything sorted. But it is driving me insane when we had all of the items in our shulker boxes right here. We got about six little chests full of shulker boxes but now everything is organized neat tidy and i can find my way around all of the items that we got and i didn't know this but we had actually had a ton of iron that was used to make the iron golems we had a ton of mob drops as well we had a massive amount of wood but of course i've been taking a lot of that and wood related things as well so yeah this is the great thing about actually creating a storage system and sorting your items is that you can find everything and it makes it so much easier to get some items for projects but yeah this is what our little basement is looking like we might add some more details and everything and we might need to expand it later on we have a few chests here that have not had anything but um yeah i think we're definitely going to need to expand because it looks like we're already getting a chest monster full of stuff around the server we got shulker boxes everywhere that we need to sort so um yeah more sorting for us <laughs> But yeah, I think that is about it of what we've been doing around at Spawn here and around our new areas, including the shopping district and everything. But we've actually added a couple more things on our Mycelium Island, including our new skin. Thank you to our creator, a uh, lovely creator on Planet Minecraft that I actually found the skin file for. But I think it goes well with the Japanese theme and everything. And so we are going to travel over to our island, see what's new and everything because I do really like this skin and I really want to go check out our island. But before we go over here, I do want to update you on one other project here. If you remember a few episodes ago, we started to create a quad iron farm. And this was actually before 1.17 came out and with the new update, we can actually fortune iron. So I don't believe this quad iron farm is really necessary anymore. I don't really want to mess with all of the villager mechanics. And because I believe I have already broken one of the little iron farm sections here. Now, if we go over to the top here, I believe some of our villagers are broken. I believe they have gone to the Ron cartography tables and I believe that actually breaks the farm so um we might actually want to get this guy rid of and everything so if we fly over to the master of the village of course I don't want to build the rest of the quad iron farm it'll just sit here but if we get rid of this guy right here I do believe the one of the villagers over there will become the new master of the village and we might actually get some iron golem spawning right here so it might work but i'm not exactly sure who knows we might just have one section of the iron farm ready to go and everything but this might pump out iron golems i have no idea i've never done this before so like I said, we are not going to continue with the quad iron farm, but I have been starting a new farm right here, and this is a gravity block duplication machine. Now the only problem with this machine right here, I'll also link the tutorial in the description for you guys, but the machine for some reason only works about half the time so it includes some pistons and everything to actually work and at chunk borders but I haven't been getting this to work recently so yeah we did build this a while back and it was working but now it only works about half the time and as you can see we do have some ghost blocks as well I can't pick this guy up and I do believe that is what is breaking the farm is the ghost block right here but I'm not exactly sure why it is breaking. I'll have to ask in the comments of the tutorial and try and get this fixed because of course concrete is what we need for our tower and everything. And this duplication machine is okay for the server. We've all agreed that duplicating gravity blocks is okay because it is really hard to get and everything. Because usually Java players have the TNT duplication glitch, and of course we don't have that in Bedrock, so instead we use our gravity block duplication glitch. So yeah, it's okay with the server and everything. Well, I'll give you just a little insight on how it works. If we start up the farm right here, 
and we turn it on and you'll see all of the blinking repeaters right there. And over there we have a bunch of pistons moving the gravity blocks out and in from the border of the chunks here because one side of the farm is loaded, the other side is not. And so that causes all of the blocks to be duplicated. So yeah, like I said, I'll link the tutorial in the description. But now we will go over to our mycelium island to check that out as well. We are here over at our mycelium island. And of course, if you haven't seen my episodes, we are going with a Japanese theme. So of course, I've been putting in some buildings right here. And we got our mini pagoda on the hill. And for some reason, we also have a villager. <laughs> but yeah, I've actually been working and installing the port and it looks kind of terrible right now we need to put the port all the way over to the little statue over there and probably wrap it around all the way around this boat right here as well but this area has not been worked on in quite some time if we actually go over to this area we can show you what we've done but i'll show you a montage of what me and bob have done first off but me and Bob have actually been working on the Mycelium Island together, and I'll show you guys a little montage of what we've been up to. So yeah, that's right, from the uh, montage here, if we go all the way to the other side of the island, we've been installing a huge amount of grass, and it looks like we are getting close to destroying the mycelium menace that is the mycelium island. I believe we are going to try and grass the entire island. And this is because in mycelium islands, grass actually looks very lush. And so I do want to cover the entire island with it. That way we can put in some other buildings around here. I've also been taking care of this mountain. I do want to get it down all the way to probably this level right here. But if you see, we also have this guy right here, Jeff the Dragon Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Bob really wanted a zombie and a dragon head, so um, yeah, we have Jeff now to keep us company here on our poor little island. <laughs> so as the moon comes up from the sky, I think this is going to be the end of today's video. My oh my, does this look very pretty from this angle. But yeah, this is more of a status update video. We have done a bunch of stuff off camera, and I mean a ton of stuff. Fortunately, I was not able to record because some construction crew was over at my house working on it. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of off-camera work this past month from our video. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys like the video. Make sure to like it and maybe consider subscribing because that helps. But for next episode, we might do some RTX related things. And we might actually look around the island and the spawn area and see what it looks like in RTX. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.